Hello, today I'm building in Chestnut Ridge, and originally this was going to be a starter family home, and I had put in a family, I think of four, so it was like parents and two kids, and I was just going to build with the money that I had, and I got to like not even halfway through the interior before I realized that I didn't think it was going to be possible. And I was like, okay, so should I just, like, throw away the whole idea of it being even, like, a budgeted build? And then I decided that I would give myself, like, it was, like, 8,000 extra simoleons. So at that point, I had, like, 2,000 left. And I was like, yeah, there's no way because I just put the beds in. And I was like, yeah, I can't even decorate anything <laughs> in this house at all. It's going to be, like an empty ugly house and it's pretty spacious and big so i needed enough money to at least like decorate it somehow and so i gave myself like i did the money ten thousand cheat and that gave me like an extra eight thousand so this is a budget family home <laughs> for chestnut ridge and i picked this lot because it had one of those horse track areas next to it and I figured that that would be like a nice thing to have. I didn't put in the horse item, like, or any of the horse items. <laughs> so I guess that doesn't matter very much. But in my head, I was like, okay, I wouldn't have to spend money on any of that stuff because they live right next to it. So it's like, that's technically part of their house, but not actually on the lot. And I was mostly just, um, I didn't really have an inspiration picture for this. I was just going off of like, a vibe <laughs> and i knew i wanted a like double garage area the garage ends up moving because when i was like looking at it i thought it would look better if i put it on an angle so in a little while i like redo the whole garage and i put it on a diagonal i moved the house over a little bit so then just like it looks a little bit more like pleasing on the eye for pictures than just having both structures laid out in that sort of way and I don't really know what I was doing with like the shape of the build I was just trying to make it as interesting as I could without like making it too large and it is pretty big I feel like it could have been a little bit smaller but I like didn't know how to make it smaller without changing so much of the build and I also know that, like, the budget, if I didn't have this garage, I feel like it would have been a little bit easier to stay in budget, but I felt like it was an important part of the build. And I didn't put anything in it, so it is just an empty space, which I feel like would be really nice for gameplay anyway, because you could kind of, like, throw some skill items in there that you don't want, like, in the house that maybe doesn't look like they, like, fit in with, <laughs> like, the furnishings that you have for it so you could just kind of like throw whatever into the garage as you need skill items or like any weird items <laughs> like maybe that giant um video game thing isn't there like a four seat arcade machine that could go in there but there is nothing in the garage and i don't even think there's any windows it's just those two large doors and that's like about it but yeah, I really like the shape of the build. It is just like, it's very basic and it looks very simple. And it's definitely different from like my usual style of shape for a build because I normally go for something with a tower. And this is very symmetrical, but I feel like it's pleasing on the eye. <laughs> and like, I underestimated how difficult it was going to be to stay under budget. And I was, like, even finding it hard to figure out what windows I wanted to use for this because none of them really worked. And I wanted to use the base game windows, but those didn't really come in a swatch that matched any of, like, the, the tone of wood that I was going to, like, go for. And so I go with the snowy escape windows, and I use a lot of the shutters from Horse Ranch, which also is what put on some money for the build. And I also used some Ivy from Get Together, which also cost it money, but I needed it to look nice. I was just like, uh, like, I don't care if it, if it doesn't actually become a starter home. I want it to like still look good for like a picture because that's mostly what I build for. Like I build just like 
for fun for myself just to, like space out and create something but i post all of my builds and i take pictures of them and i upload them to youtube so the exterior at least has to be up to my own personal standards <laughs> and so i did spend a lot of money on little things that would help it to look a little bit better including some columns and things like that so technically i feel like maybe if i went around and i deleted all of those things it would probably be a starter home which i guess is an option on for like a gallery upload like if you download this and you want it to be a starter home there's definitely things you could delete to make it that way like you don't need all the clutter inside the house if you didn't want to um but it's like really not too far off from a starter i guess it would be like the next part up like if you had a family and they had like some like higher level jobs like maybe they're like level four or something in their career and they have more money this would be like the perfect house for them to move into and it's very spacious there's three bedrooms but the two like kids bedrooms are pretty big you could fit like two beds in each of them the parents bedroom is really small i only just tried to fit in a double bed and there was like some other stuff on it like there wasn't too much furniture I don't even know if I've managed to fit a dresser into that room or not. It's been a while. <laughs> but yeah, here's the ivy. Each piece is 75 simoleons is what I'm seeing. So yeah, <laughs> like I'm, I don't know if all of the like unnecessary details for gameplay, they're necessary for my build to look nice, but the like non-necessary features in gameplay, I don't know if it adds up to the 8,000 that I ended up like, adding on to the build but it is a possibility because like the garage was probably a lot of money <laughs> and now i'm like curious but i'm probably not going to remember to go back just for like my own knowledge to delete things to see if i could somehow save money for it i don't think i'm gonna end up doing that but i'm sure you probably could if you really wanted to because the shell itself like minus some of these extra things are like fine at least the windows are pretty cheap the windows i think i had seen are like 25 simoleons that's not too bad i need to pay attention to what the shutters are when i get up to that point in the video 60 <laughs> yeah so the each shutter combination is like 120 simoleons each ivy is like 75 simoleons but the house would not be the same without those little details. It was like necessary for me. And so it's a budget family home, which isn't too bad anyway. Um, I think I just was like, so folks, I was like, yeah, let me do a starter home for the challenge. But even like a budget home, it like still felt like a challenge anyway. And it made it like a lot more like fun and different to build for an interior than usual because i had like another focus instead of just mindlessly um furnishing a house and i do end up really liking the landscape for this build i really like mostly the driveway area that i end up doing i like there's some debug fence pieces that i think are from horse ranch that i think like really tie the entire landscape together which isn't going to happen yet because right now i'm just placing grass and trees around and i'm trying to remember if i used any like terrain tools like if i sloped anything or not i can't really remember it's been a while i was kind of spaced out at night doing this landscaping while i was just like watching videos so it's hard to like actually remember what i did i'm pretty sure i didn't do any like actual like lowering or raising terrain it, I think it's just a flat build, but I do a lot of terrain paint, and that's, like, kind of how I decorate it. I also use a lot of, like, overgrown grass and stuff to make it feel a little bit more overgrown, especially in the garage area, as you can see those giant mushrooms there, and I was going to put a pickup truck on the driveway and then i couldn't like i could never find it in debug when i searched for some reason <laughs> so i gave up like instantly i like searched and i got like the toy car as it and i was like i know that there is like this rusty looking truck 
in this menu somewhere. And I was like, I'll go back and find it. And I didn't go back and find it. It's not really, it's not necessary. It's not important to the build anyway. Um, I don't even know if there ends up being space left for a truck on the driveway because I did put in the fence pieces after. And I also really liked taking those rocks to the left and making sort of like a garden bed area over there. I think it like helps to add that sort of like definition that I usually create by raising up the terrain and using the rocks to frame the like raised up terrain. <laughs> and but this time it's just like flat, but the rocks are a lot smaller and they outline where some flowers are going to go. And I think I used mostly like orange flowers i'll have to see yeah i think i'm pulling out orange flowers i think it's like a very pale orange i think it, that looks really nice with um just like what's going on with the build and the green door and the green ivy and just like all the weathered wood around it's just like i guess three different colors and orange is just like isn't brown it's like you mess around with the sliders of orange. So it's like all in the same sort of atmosphere, I guess. I didn't use too many colors in this build. I don't usually use a whole bunch of colors. I normally do a lot of like white flowers, but the orange, like Chestnut Ridge, for some reason, it like screams orange to me. And that might be, be, be that might be because um, when I was building a chestnut ridge, whenever the pack came out, it was like mid to late summer and I was thinking about autumn and so I was doing autumn builds with a lot of orange trees. So I think that's kind of like permanently stuck in my head for chestnut ridge because again, I haven't really built in this world since last summer, but it is such a pretty world and I really like the atmosphere of it. And yeah, I have some more of the orange flowers that I place around and I lower them into the ground a little bit using tool. I do that with a few things. Oh, my phone went off. But um I am also not sure if your Sims can walk towards the garage because I take that giant piece of like grass and I do lower it into the ground on the garage as well in the driveway. I haven't play tested it yet, so I'll have to like see and make sure that everything can work before I upload it. So if there's like some things that change, if like you download it and things are slightly different, it's probably because I needed to like delete stuff so that your Sims could probably actually like get to the garage, even though there's nothing in the garage at the moment. And you could always use that for activities and skills and stuff like little woodworking bench would be really cute in there. But I didn't want to put in any more money and I hope that there's enough activities in this build for sims that's like one thing that <laughs> I feel like I could have easily forgot to do I did do like a kids activity table there is a computer I'm not really sure what else I have for skill building which I think is <laughs> I was like it makes the build lame for gameplay I guess but um I got, a little, I got a little distracted because like it was like two different noises like threw me off and like the second noise came and I was just like, oh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But um, I'm at a point in the video now where I could at least talk about lowering the tree into the ground to create a bush. And I haven't done that in a long time, but I feel like that tree is perfect for that. And it reminds me of like I remember watching Marcy Lacelle stream on twitch building um and she took the cherry blossom trees and sized them down into like bushes and stuff and then i remember i stole that idea <laughs> and then i like sized some down to create like giant flowers on a roof of a build and so i was thinking about her when i lowered that tree down to make a little pink bush it's really pretty though that's like the perfect sort of bush so I need to like actually take a mental note of that I don't even know what tree that's from it might be from horse ranch oh those are the fences I was talking about I really like the texture of it and I like how they're like a little bit warped I feel like it looks really nice and it like I felt like it was like the finishing touch for the landscape of the build and I really do enjoy how the landscape turned out. I feel like it looks very lush and I really like it. And I had the most fun 
landscaping. I feel like that's what probably made the build seem a little bit more interesting because of just like it being sort of a symmetrical box in the end. But the landscaping has a lot going on, which is, I feel like, normally how I like to build anyway. I mostly have been really enjoying landscaping builds, which, like, when I was a kid, and I, because I used to build in, like, The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. Like, The Sims 3 was out when I was in high school, and I remember I hated landscaping. But I also hated it because I was just not very good at building. I used to build these, like, giant like modern mansions that really just like didn't have a lot going on and trying to landscape something like that was miserable and so I never would landscape my builds but now I feel like it's my favorite part because it's like I like um creating sort of like it would be like a painting landscape but I don't know how to paint <laughs> and so I could only do it in The Sims. And someone comments, I don't know where they commented that they said that my builds felt like a painting and it meant so much because that's like sort of like the outlet for The Sims for me, I guess, is to create like a landscape, but I don't have any actual like <laughs> um skills or tech or I guess technical skills and anything creative like that. So I need to use The Sims to get get the like picture out of my brain and into something which is really why I enjoy building and I really like building every week even though sometimes I burn myself out but I think I burn myself out when I'm just doing like the same sort of build all the time and I'm not really challenging myself or if I'm like pressuring myself to do a certain thing instead of just like building just for myself <laughs> And instead of, like, focusing on, like, doing something that's different from what I'm, like, comfortable with. Like, this was very different from what I'm comfortable with, too. Um, normally, I have, like, something that, like, has a tower in it. And that's, like, my comfort, I think. <laughs> so once I put a tower in a build, I'm like, yeah, this is, like, this is enough for me. This was what I needed to do. And so I was, I was like, oddly nervous that this one wasn't going to have a tower. And I was like, it's not going to, like, a tower's not going to make sense. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to go with it and hope that I can landscape it enough where it still feels like my build and not somebody else's. And I think I managed to do that with the landscaping because I didn't want it to feel, like, way too different from what, like, my builds are. But yeah, this is the point in the video where... I start to realize that I'm not going to be able to make it a starter home. <laughs> I was like, oh, um, yes. Yeah, so now I have 10,000. So before the simoleons were like a little over 2,000 and I did the money 10,000 sheet and I was like, okay, I think I can use 10,000 to finish the build because I already got the bathroom items in. I have the kitchen items in. And I know I could have deleted the cabinets too, and that would have given me some money, but I needed the cabinets. I was like, this kitchen needs to at least look decent and presentable. <laughs> and like, I feel like not having cabinets, I just couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to do it. And so it is the budget home. And there is like a, I guess like a mud room off to the side. There isn't too much in there. I think like I end up putting a shelf in there and just a a like cardboard box over there but you could always put um one of those items that has like the coats hanging from it um the living room i feel like is m probably my least favorite part of the build it just it's so like large the <laughs> the living room i'm not used to making builds that have such like spacious areas and I know probably to some that this is probably like a normal sized living room for a Sims build, but not for me because normally all I have is enough space to put like a couch, a TV, and maybe a coffee table. And sometimes it's too small to even fit a coffee table in. And so this, I guess it doubles as a study and a living room. But the fact that it was also budgeted I was like, I don't even know how to fill in all the space because I can't put a bunch of like wall shelves in and like put that book clutter item in to fill up the bookcases. And I was like, yeah, this living room is just going to be very empty. And it doesn't help that the walls are pretty light too. So I feel like 
it makes it feel so much more empty. The and it's very there's a lot of brown in that room too. There's not really much else, but I still like it. I think it's like if I changed the wallpaper to I guess something a little bit darker, it would have felt a little bit cozier in that room than being as like feel as empty. But maybe that's just my perception of it. Maybe others don't feel that way about it. But I wouldn't blame you if you agree with me <laughs> because I definitely feel like it's um the like least good part of the interior of the build like everything else i feel like it's like nice and cozy there's just enough items in it where it feels natural but i could have put some more stuff into these rooms like i wish i could have put more on the walls and like wall art and those shelves and a lot more clutter on the wall shelves the walls are pretty like there's not a lot on the walls i put some like kids craft stuff on the walls after i do end up putting in curtains around because with the extra ten thousand i gave myself i was able to afford some curtains i do use the curtains from the bistro kit but if you don't have that and you have like um i think it's growing together that has a similar um curtain you could always replace those but i really wanted to use the bistro curtain because i thought that it looked really nice in the parents' bedroom, and I, like, carried that throughout the house. As well as, I think, curtains from Cats and Dogs. I think I use those ones after. But I kind of had, like, a lot of fun going through and just picking out little pieces of clutter um, with the amount of money I had left. I feel like this was my favorite part of the interior, was being able to actually, like, fill up some empty space with some of the cheaper objects where like before I feel like it would have I would have not really liked the build if I would have kept it on like the much stricter budget of the house but when I looked back at the living room I feel like the living room after I looked at it again just now it feels okay with a, a little bit extra clutter in there it's fine and maybe there's just extra space to put in more stuff for your sims and gameplay and personalize it for them because this could just be a little canvas for your own sims personality there's not like too much personality in the build i just was trying to make it look as lived in as i possibly could without spending way too much money and i'm not sure if i even spent the full like ten thousand simoleons i want to pay attention to the money a little bit and see because maybe I didn't even use the full 10,000 because right now I just used pretty much all the extra money I gave myself was like, I guess like 7,000 something simoleons to finish it. And yeah, so now I'm just putting a curtain so I can't really see that I would have spent the full 2,000 left for the build. So I could have went back and like put in some other stuff, but I think it's good as it is. I don't think it really needs anything else like 1,400 thousand one hundred yeah so i end up finishing the build with like a thousand and a hundred left over which is pretty good i could say but yeah these are the screenshots now i don't see what they look like right now so i'm gonna have to pause and come back pictures are taken i don't have much to say about them because i couldn't decorate as much as i probably would have if i had a lot more money to work with i did play test it the driveway works fine there's no issues uh but the dining room didn't work so i had to move some stuff around i'm sure there will be problems with the chairs unfortunately that's just how the sims goes but yeah thank you so much for watching bye